Welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name's Tammy. I also go by Uncomfy because your girl's a little anxious. I'm an artist that primarily works with polymer clay and I make this cozy content to hopefully comfort and inspire you. Today is a very on-brand video. We're gonna be talking about my favorite things to do when I'm feeling uncomfy. I was super inspired by Cozy K to do this. I've been watching a lot of her cozy favorites videos. So if you're super into this content as well, definitely check her out. I think these days it's very natural to feel uncomfy, a little anxious, a little restless, especially now during springtime. I know spring is the season of flowers and new beginnings, but it's also the season of change. I feel like this is a period of transition for a lot of people. People are changing their careers, people are graduating. I know for myself, I'm graduating this May, so it's a, it's a lot to take in. But even though I'm very excited for all these things to happen, I'm also very anxious about it, and I'm also just really really tired and maybe you can relate to those feelings so i've compiled a list of the things that i love to do to help me feel warm and cozy and light and airy again i'm gonna try my best not to list things like commodities and things to buy the intention behind this video is to provide you with a list of activities to feel like a person again sometimes i just don't feel like a person and i know that's a very vague statement to make but that's just how it feels sometimes to be uncomfy is like you just don't feel like yourself anymore and hopefully this video will help so the first thing that is on my list is something that I do literally every single day. It's to make myself a cute little cafe drink. And I also call this working on my home cafe. As someone who doesn't own a car, who doesn't live in a walking distance of a nearby cafe, and I also want to save money, making myself little lattes, Americanos, tea beverages is something that I look forward to every single morning. Like the idea of making myself coffee in the morning is what gets me out of bed. And every Every day when I'm feeling down in the afternoon, I love making myself a little beverage as well. I feel like everyone I know has the dream of like opening a cafe or a bakery. And maybe that's just something that we all share in this little cozy community, but I love pretending like I'm my own little barista. I love frothing up the milk and pouring the coffee in and it really is just an act of service for yourself. It's like I'm saying I love myself enough to make myself a little treat. And if you're not into coffee, you can make tea. I've been loving this Gen Mai Chi tea that we got in Portland or this like lemon tea that I steal from my apartment complex. If you've ever watched a Korean cafe vlog, you know what I mean. It's so cozy and in my opinion, it's so much easier and less time consuming than baking is. It's like you're literally just heating up water, pouring things into a cup and it looks and feels just as aesthetic and cozy. Lately, I've been obsessed with making iced Americanos. It's super quick and easy and I love it as an afternoon drink because typically in the afternoon, my apartment gets really hot so it cools me down and it energizes me at the same time. If the caffeine from coffee is a little too much for you, you can always try decaf coffee for the flavor or matcha is like a really healthy slow release of caffeine for you as well. And in the evening after dinner, it's in my absolute favorite thing to just have tea with Mr. Uncomfy. If you live at home, you can invite your parents or your siblings to have tea with you. It's such an underrated thing to just have tea with someone. Just like sipping on warm tea and talking about your days with each other is just like such a cozy inexpensive activity that can really bring you together this is the little tea set that i got for myself off of etsy if you open the lid it comes with two tiny little teacups and there's a tea leaf strainer here and it all fits in so nicely it's like the perfect tea set it's meant for traveling so it comes with a travel case but i just use it at home for me and mr uncomfy it brings me so much joy and it makes me feel a little less uncomfy for sure the next activity on my list is to do tiny crochet projects and i think the word tiny is very important in this because especially as a creative a lot of the times i'm working on things that feels never ending and i know a lot of times stress and art block comes from this creative fatigue that we feel from these large projects or from life in general just from working so hard so even though i really want to crochet a cute sweater eventually or a tote bag it just feels like another project that i'll never be able to finish and that is why tiny tiny crochet projects like this are so cozy to me this is a little sprout that i 
crocheted onto my headphones and I saw this originally on TikTok so I'll link the original creator but it was the first crochet project that I had finished in probably 10 minutes it was so easy and was so cute and I just felt so accomplished after that and I want to feel like that all the time <laughs> other super easy crochet tutorials that I want to follow eventually is like this flower bouquet or these bookmarks because I've been trying to get into reading again unsuccessfully but under the same vein of this is paint gems like the really tiny paint gems that you just literally stick gems onto the picture and you can finish it in 30 minutes I love doing those as well I think the reason these quick little projects just boost my serotonin is because it reminds me that I'm capable of making things and that I don't have to be super original or creative I can just follow someone else's tutorials make something for myself like truly just for myself and that act of creating in itself is a part of being human it's so beautiful and so wholesome you should definitely try it out I've also seen other sort of headphone covers that people crochet like my friend did a bear themed headphone cover and, and that seems really cute um, it does seem like a bit more work I think eventually I want to do something similar to this but maybe like bunny ears or something and I think another key component to this is to remind yourself that not everything in life has to be hard or time consuming especially if you're super busy like being a small business owner like myself I'm super busy all the time and a lot of my projects have been like months in the make takes me hours and hours to do something you know so not everything has to be hard and oftentimes it's the simplest easiest things in life that can truly boost my mood and make me feel content my third favorite on this list is playing switch this is my switch isn't she cute <laughs> My switch is like my best friend and I got little radish thumb grips to match my whole vibe here. <laughs> I got the switch, I wanna say like two or three years ago and it's honestly one of the best investments I've ever made for my happiness. I know I said I wasn't gonna list commodities or anything, so you don't have to have a switch to partake in cozy gaming. There's plenty of mobile games. Like my roommates have been obsessed with Candy Crush and I know that game has been taking their mind off things for basically this whole month recently. <laughs> But I think what's been most surprising about my cozy game journey is that I've been slowly veering away from story-based games and just playing simple games that you can jump right in and jump right out. So I've been playing a lot of Mario Kart. <laughs> I really only have like 10 or 20 minutes a day to play games. So things like Cozy Grove or Animal Crossing or any of those story-based games where you have to check in every single day, it just doesn't work for me anymore. It brings me a lot more stress than it should. I love playing mini games. I love playing Mario Kart. Just literally like 10 minutes a day on this thing is all I need to just have fun for a little bit, you know? I, I think we should all have fun. And it's a great alternative to scrolling on TikTok or Instagram. Recently, I've been having a problem with like doom scrolling and just scrolling for like 20, 30 minutes straight a day on TikTok. And I think this is a better use of my time. I'm just actually relaxing and not comparing myself to others and not worrying about anything else in life. The next few things on my list sort of go hand in hand with each other. I do all of these things every day as well, a sort of a daily practice to ward away the uncomfy. Gratitude journaling has been one of my favorite ways to ease my mind whenever I'm feeling super, super anxious. The way I do it is by using the five minute journaling method. I've probably talked about this like 10 times already on my channel, but basically you write down three things that you are grateful for, three little things that would make your day great, and one manifestation. And I think the gratefulness aspect plus the manifestation aspect really work together to rewire your brain into thinking that you know life is good and things will be okay just off the top of my head my favorite manifestations to write down have been i feel light and airy because oftentimes when i'm feeling uncomfy i feel really heavy and sort of numb and sticky in my chest so by writing down i feel light and airy it immediately encourages me to take a deep breath in and out and those things lift this pressure off of my chest almost instantly 
and the more and more you do this you sort of realize every day you're grateful for relatively the same things like i always end up writing that i'm super grateful for my family my cozy apartment and the cup of coffee that i'm having that morning or if you want to be more specific you can write you're grateful for the health of your family i write all the time that i'm so grateful for my own health because without my health without the tenacity of my wrists and my joints and my back i i can't do anything and I feel like these little things really help me get through life. <laughs> I also just feel like nothing's better than the feeling of like flipping through a journal that you've completely written in. I've never been good at journaling, but the five minute journal is so easy and it's so effective. And my last favorite that I want to share with you guys today is Pilates. I've always been super into body weight exercises. I like weightlifting too, but I love the combination of breathing exercises, flexibility, and like mind body connection that Pilates gives me. I think it's truly the best form of exercise for my body and find that I really only need like 15 minutes of it a day to feel totally like limber and happy with my body. I just follow YouTube videos, so my favorite Pilates instructor on YouTube is Move With Nicole. I think she's an Australian YouTuber based in Thailand and she does amazing videos. Her voice is so peaceful and I know it's said all the time and you've probably heard it all the time too, but exercise is really important, especially if you're an artist and you're sitting on your ass all day like I am um, you just really gotta stretch out your spine sometimes you know and it feels really great you'll thank me later um, but yeah that was the last on my list I just really want to end this video by saying your feelings of anxiousness and uncomfiness are totally valid. There's so many things in this world that will just inevitably make you uncomfy. But what helps me is that, you know, there are things that I can control, like little things granted, but they are little things that can make a big difference in your day-to-day -day life. I hope you like this video. I'll have some more small business content out soon. And yeah, I'm uncomfy and I'll see you soon. Rusty red on her shoulder, I was cleaning her shoe. When it clicked on the trot over, 